Hi dear, today we will see force on a current carrying conductor. Okay, force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Okay, uh, first in the, in the starting of the chapter we have seen that Hans Christian Oersted found that uh, ma when a magnetic field is placed accidentally he found that when a magnetic uh, magnetic needle is placed near by a current carrying uh, current carrying conductor metallic wire it gets deflected right it gets deflected but uh, this French scientist Henri Marie Ampere he found that uh, conductor uh, forces acting on a current carrying conductor when it is placed near a magnetic field that means what the uh, the magnetic field produced by the uh, current carrying conductor exerts some force on the magnetic uh, magnetic needle likewise in return the magnet will also exert some force on the current carrying conductor he suggested that what is that he suggested the magnet also exerts an equal and opposite force on the current carrying conductor okay okay so this was found by this french scientist andre mary ampere he was born in 1775 and he uh, lived up to uh, 1836 okay so in uh, oyster found that uh, magnetic effect by the current current in 1820 right so he uh, ampere suggested that uh, magnet in return magnet also exerts some equal and opposite force on the current carrying conductor okay so how they uh, uh, found that they found by conducting an experiment touch So, uh -huh. they have conducted one experiment, okay. Uh, they kept a magnet here. This is a horseshoe magnet. That means you will have the north pole and south pole here. So, in between this, from north to south, the magnetic lines will be moving, right. Magnetic force is acting on that. It is nearby. Or we can keep two magnets nearby, near, near, near like this, okay. And we can keep the current carrying conductor in between. Okay. Instead of that, they have kept here a uh, horseshoe magnet. Okay. In between the north and south pole, you will have some magnetic field lines. Okay. In between them, they suspended a uh, current carrying conductor. Okay. They have suspended a aluminum wire, aluminum rod. Okay. And it is connected to a battery and a key. Okay. This is the uh, experimental setup. Okay. What they observed is, uh, they kept everything in mutually perpendicular direction. Uh, this uh, magnet is perpendicular to this rod. Uh, this perpendicular to this rod. Okay. So, what are the observation in that? Okay. On closing the key, the conductor gets displaced towards right. Okay. On con uh, on closing the key, the conductor gets the conductor gets displaced towards right. That means what? Because of the magnetic effect, because of the magnetic effect of horseshoe, the conductor itself, this uh, freely suspended conductor is there, right? The, sus the conductor itself get displaced, okay? It is gets displaced towards right, okay? Then they have reversed the direction of the current. And reversing the direction of the current, the conductor gets displaced towards the left, okay? If they... Uh, uh, current uh, the current direction of the current is reversed okay reversed then the uh, displacement uh, then the conductor is displaced towards the left what all this shows that this uh, these things shows that these observation shows that the direction of the force is also reversed when the direction of current through the conductor is reversed okay the force the force the um, magnet is there conductor is there so the conductor is deflected towards right or left based on the direction of current passing through that okay the direction of the current uh, through the conductor is reversed the force acting because of the force acting it will be deflected towards the left or towards the right okay whether it is uh, deflected towards the right or uh, uh, left it is based on the direction of the current passing through that okay clear on this okay next step likewise on changing the polarity of the horseshoe magnet okay once the uh, um, once the uh, north pole and south pole has been interchange interchange 
then the direction of the uh, magnetic field will also uh, change right the magnetic field lines will also change because the uh, the here also some magnetic fields are going there uh, near the current carrying conductor also we have some magnetic field lines okay so once the pole, north pole and south pole has been interchanged the direction of the uh, magnetic field will also interchange okay that will also uh, change the direction of the force acting on the current carrying conductor okay that means uh, the direction of the forces depends upon the uh, current carrying conductor and and the direction of the magnetic field direction of magnetic field the magnetic field can be changed by interchanging the uh, poles of the magnet okay so the direction of the force only we are talking about the direction of the force whether it uh, 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 pull exerts its exert force in the direction of uh, upward or downward or rightwards or leftward that means the displacement of the uh, conductor displacement movement of the conductor that is direct force I, when when it will move some force is acting on that okay that force the direction of the force is reversed when the current is reversed and the direction of the magnetic field is reversed okay next what about the uh, magnitude of magnetic force or how the ma uh, value value of the force will change okay when the current carrying conductor is placed perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field for example uh, magnetic field this is north this is south that means the magnetic lines will be like this okay magnetic lines will be like this in the bar magnet right uh, when a current carrying conductor is placed like this current carrying conductor this is a conductor current carrying conductor current is moving in this direction like this okay that means this is perpendicular to this this line okay this current carrying conductor is perpendicular to the magnetic field line magnetic field of the magnets right then you will have maximum force acting on that okay maximum force acting on this and maximum displacement will be there okay when the current carrying conductor is placed perpendicular that means at 90 degree to the direction of the magnetic field magnetic field if you place the conductor 90 degree to this uh, direction of the magnetic field the maximum displacement occurs indicating when the maximum displacement occur when there is a maximum force on the conductor okay so more force will act when the conductor is placed perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic fields of the magnetic bar okay clear on this okay when it is kept in some other inclination this is the north and this is the south when it is kept in this direction this is the current carrying conductor when it is kept at some other inclination other than 90 degree means the force will be reduced uh, and the displacement will also be reduced okay in case in case if it is if the uh, this is not this is south when the magnet current current conductor is placed parallel to this magnetic field then there is no displacement clear when the uh, when it is pa kept parallel to this um, magnetic field then there is no displacement on placing the conductor parallel to the parallel to the direction of the magnetic field no displacement is noticed okay when it, when the conductor is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field you will have maximum force okay maximum force means maximum displacement occurs okay when it's slightly inclined to that then uh, that that means acute angle then the less force will be acting on that when it is kept parallel to the magnetic field no displacement occurs okay clear on this okay next what are the factors which affect the magnitude of the force how does it affect okay the strength of the current increases if you increase the strength of the current always the magnitude of the force will also increase okay the external field magnetic strength increases that means the force uh, between the north and south pole if that increases then the magnitude increases if the length of the conductor increases if you increase the length of the conductor the, then the magnitude will also increase magnitude of force will also increase okay 
okay so we have uh, discussed about the direction the direction depends on the direction of the current and the magnetic field direction of the magnetic field and the force depends upon the placing of the uh, current carrying conductor when it is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field we will have maximum displacement if you place uh, parallel to the magnetic field then uh, there is no displacement okay so the factors affect affecting the magnetic magnet of force also we have discussed okay how will you find the direction of the uh, force or current or uh, this uh, magnetic field okay so that will be found by using the Fleming's left hand rule Fleming's left hand rule okay for that we have to stretch your for that we have to stretch your uh, left uh, left hand fingers like this that is uh, four finger middle finger and this thumb finger okay it should be stretched in a manner such that it is perpendicular to each other mutually perpendicular to each other all the three are perpendicular to each other okay mutually perpendicular stretch the thumb finger four finger and the middle finger of the left hand such that they are mutually perpendicular they are mutually perpendicular to each other four finger this four finger this four finger uh, uh, points the direction of the magnetic field the magnetic fields will be created right that uh, that is denoted by the forefinger okay next the middle finger denotes the direction of the current passing through that direction of the current passing through that and the thumb finger uh, uh, shows the direction of the force acting on the conductor direction of the force okay direction of the force acting on the conductor middle finger uh, direction of the current and the forefinger direction of the magnetic field okay so this is of this is slightly slanting okay these three are mutually perpendicular to that okay mutually perpendicular that means this will be perpendicular to that this will be perpendicular to this and this will be perpendicular to that, like that okay and this forefinger shows the mag direction of the magnetic field and this uh, middle finger shows the direction of the current and the thumb shows the direction of the force okay so where will you use this uh, concept okay the devices that use current carrying conductor and the magnetic fields are electric motor electric generator loudspeakers microphones measuring instruments okay in these things uh, we are using this concept okay thank you